Hi guys, it's June Simmons with Online Sales Pro, and tonight is my night 92 of the Vincent Ortega Jr. 100 Day Video Challenge, and it's night 42 of the um, Facebook Blueprint e-learning program that I'm going through, and last night we left off with um, okay, it's how to buy Instagram ads, and we left out with targeting options. And so that's what we're going to start back up tonight. And it says that targeting options include location, demographics, interest, actions, and more. Keep in mind that you don't have to use all your targeting options. The only targeting options that are required are country, age, and gender. Use the other targeting options if you want more control over the types of people you see who see your ads. You can also target your Instagram ads to a custom audience or lookalike audience. Mm. To learn more, we recommend that you review the course in the Blueprint Targeting Catalog. From here, you will find e-learning content on targeting core audiences, custom audiences, lookalike audiences, and multicultural affinity audiences. And we've actually already done this reporting and measurement. I knew we did this before. Reporting and measurement. We've already done that. Crazy. Okay, it says we've completed the course. So let's go back up here and see if we can... Um... Let's see if I can see the certificate and see what it says and see if we've got one that already looks like this. I don't know, I've got one on my little um, memory chip, but I don't think that it was, I didn't think it was this one. I don't know. Anyways, let's just take a look at it, and says that June Simmons has, J. June Simmons, <laughs> has completed how to buy Instagram ads as part of the Blueprint e-learning program. Okay. And so actually it said that yesterday we were done with it. <laughs> okay. Oops, I better download that just in case. I better put it on my little memory. I want to keep going a little bit though on something else because, um, because that didn't make a very long video. <laughs> uh, okay. Saving that. And then we'll get on with it. It says I can safely remove it. All right. All right. So, let's go to webinars. It's going to teach us about webinars, best practices for brand or DR on Instagram webinar. Practices for brand and DR on Instagram webinar. I'm not sure what DR is. How to sell brand and DR on Instagram webinar. We're going to launch that one. Maybe it's going to tell us what DR Good is. Hey, everyone. My name is Arshita from the Facebook Marketing Partnerships team. 
Welcome to our last Instagram webinar of the year. Thank you to all of you for joining today and really being a part of this Instagram journey with us. I'll start with some logistics. We will have about 30 minutes of content that we will walk through, followed up with 15 minutes of Q&A. Um, you can submit your questions throughout the session just using the tool um, that you have in front of you and we will respond to those at the end. If we do not get to your specific question at the end, we will follow up afterward with responses to FAQs when we send out the recording. So now that we have the uh, logistics out of the way, um, let's jump into some of the content. So we have several folks from the Instagram team joining to walk through some great content with you. The focus of this session will be around communicating the Instagram value proposition to all types of advertisers, whether they're focused on brand objectives or direct response goals. Taking a step back and um, just covering where we've been and where we are today and how partners like you are already a critical part of delivering value to advertisers, I just wanted to start with some context on, on where Instagram has been. Um, ads on Instagram started over two years ago and the product was really different then. It was geared towards brand objectives exclusively, offering limited targeting, and there were steep minimum since it was only available via insertion order. During that time, we really took the time to prove that Instagram drove value for advertisers by measuring every single campaign, but we wanted to expand capabilities in the offering, and this is really where partners like you all came in, and we launched an API that was built on the Facebook Marketing API, and that really enabled partners like you to develop solutions for advertisers. We also plugged in the power of Facebook's targeting capabilities and almost all the objectives that you can run on Facebook and made them available on Instagram. And that really showed that Instagram was open for business to, to businesses of all sizes. And now where we are today is we have close to 100 developers building Instagram solutions on the API. And so last month at our global summit, we launched the Instagram partner program recognizing partners who were driving in client objectives across ad tech, community management, and content marketing specialties. So we've come a long way. You all have been a critical part of driving this value, and we wanna make sure you have the tools to be successful. And so we hope that you can take the content from today and really apply it to your own businesses. And here are some of the key takeaways that we would love for you to, to come away with. Um, so number one is Instagram works. Um, and it works across DR and brand. And today we'll share some data that proves Instagram drives results that our clients care about. Number two is we're seeing a diversity of creative. There's no one size fits all approach for creative on Instagram. And clients are taking a variety of, of approaches that are driving results for them. And finally, Instagram and Facebook are better together. Whether that's offering advertisers new ways to reach people on mobile or driving greater efficiency and ROI. So that's an overview of what you're going to get out of today. Um, with that, I'll transition it over to Megan Bristol, who's going to be jumping in. Thanks, Archie. Hi everyone, if you don't remember me from October's webinar, my name is Megan Bristol and I'm on the market operations team at Instagram. Here is our agenda for the day today. We know it's been a really fast and furious half with a lot of exciting updates and announcements. So we will start with an overview of the products that we have available in market today. Next, I will walk us through our DR updates and learnings. Christina Ting will then take us through our brand updates and we will wrap with Body by Coop with the road ahead and campaign execution best practices. Throughout the presentation, we will surface updated stats, examples, and a holistic view of how you can speak to your partner clients about the brand and DR solutions on Instagram. Instagram now solves for objectives across the entire funnel. It's hard to imagine that just a few months ago, we only had one objective available, guaranteed impressions at the top. Since our launch in September, we've added things like reach and frequency buying, the brand awareness objective, website conversions, and mobile app engagement. 
It's been a really exciting year, and thanks to all the integration work of all your teams have done, we are seeing really strong adoption across all of these objectives with a variety of partners. In addition to new objectives, our shared backend infra infrastructure with Facebook allows us to leverage world-class targeting and seamless measurement solutions. Almost anything you can do on Facebook, you can now do on Instagram. And the parity we have with Facebook solutions will continue to improve and evolve in 2016. Now let's dive deeper on my favorite topic, direct response. I'm really excited to talk to you today about the evolution of our solutions over the past few months. I spoke with this audience in October and shared our, dear, our narrative and roadmap. Today I will be highlighting our expanded content, new stats and examples to highlight what is working really well on our platform and driving success. Some slides will look familiar. Our value proposition hasn't changed. We have just layered in additional information to help bring the concepts to life. As you all know, we launched our self-serve platform in September, giving advertisers the ability to drive mobile app installs and website clicks. In the last two months, we've expanded our DR toolkit to include the website conversion and mobile app engagement objectives, launched video with call to action buttons, opened up the carousel ad format and self-serve, and optimized our link ads to drive high quality conversions. All of these updates give advertisers greater flexibility to optimize their ad delivery for their business objectives. As a result, Instagram remains the ideal place to showcase your product, app, or service at the center of visual inspiration. We provide a new opportunity to reach customers where they are engaged and open to discovery with an ad format that is optimized for driving conversion. This slide has evolved since we last spoke and speaks to the mindset of consumers on Instagram. Instead of focusing on U.S. Millennials, we've expanded the analysis to look at Instagram users and found that 60% 60 60 of users say they learn about products and services on Instagram, and 75% say they take an action before, after being inspired by a post. These actions include visiting a website for more information, searching for something specific they saw, actually shopping or making a purchase, or telling a friend about a post. On November 11th, we rolled out a one-tap overlay feature on Instagram link ads in order to improve both the community and advertising experience. In organic content, single tapping on an image reveals more information. For example, it reveals a user tag on photo posts or enables sound on video posts. Aligning our ad experience has helped the community clearly understand what will happen when they engage with your partner's ads. Customers can still take action on ads one of two ways. One, by tapping the image. We'll then ask them to confirm their intent to click through, which drives really high qualified traffic. Or two, by tapping the call to action button, which drives them directly to the advertiser website or app store. Both ensure quality clicks and ultimately valuable conversions. One important thing to note here, these higher quality clicks mean that cost per clicks for website, obje website click objectives will naturally get more expensive. Advertisers will have to bid more for these high intent clicks. Website conversion, mobile app install, and engagement prices, however, remain unaffected by this change, since advertisers with those objectives pay for conversions, not clicks. We highly encourage you to transition your partner's legacy website click campaigns to website conversion campaigns if they are leveraging that objective for their Facebook campaigns. Over the past few months, we've seen advertising advertisers running across both Instagram and Facebook drive greater efficiency. In fact, Internal analysis shows that running across Facebook and Instagram together improves ROI for website click and mobile app installs. And doing so is easy. Just add Instagram to new and exist existing Facebook ad sets. When you do, we'll run the same or unique creative caption and call to action across both Facebook and Instagram. There's no extra work required. Your advertiser's impressions will be delivered efficiently across both platforms. We have heard that creative is still a lively discussion with your partners. When it comes to creative on Instagram, we're seeing a variety of approaches work. For instance, some clients repurpose their creative from Facebook or other channels, and some clients develop tailored creative. We've seen all of these approaches drive the results your clients care about. In fact, all of the ads here have driven real results for your partners. Let's look at a few examples. Target, for example, drove a 43% saving uh, per install on new users. Framebridge, 
a U.S. website click campaign saw a 46% increase in its click-through rate over the company benchmark and a 71% decrease in customer acquisition costs. And Shoes.com out of Canada saw a 15x increase in new user traffic compared to all other display channels and a 63% decrease in their CPC goal. Here's an example of an advertiser who ran their Facebook creative on Instagram and saw success. Poshmark, a fashion e-commerce marketplace in the U.S., used Instagram to drive app installs and saw the following results. A 37% increase in app installs, 28% 28, 28 decrease in ad costs, 85% more app installs than their initial campaign goal. Evidence that your Facebook creative can drive results on Instagram as well. Here's another example of an advertiser who ran the same assets across both Facebook and Instagram. L'Occitane, a cosmetics brand in France, used Instagram carousel ads to drive shopping on their website. You can see their creative lends itself naturally to the carousel ad formats on both Facebook and Instagram. Using the same creative assets on Instagram worked for them as well. L'Occitane saw a 58% increase in conversions. Evidence that you don't need unique creative to see results on our platform. Finally, here's an example of an advertiser who tailored the creative to Instagram. Gilt, a fashion e-commerce marketplace in the U.S., ran mobile app installs on both Facebook and Instagram. You can see they developed unique creative to drive the same objective on each platform. With very subtle changes, their Instagram creative, in particular, feels native to the platform. <coughs> Yet just like their Facebook ad, clearly showcases their product. This creative approach worked for Gilt, yielding an 88% lift in their mobile app installs on Instagram. To recap, here's our updated toolkit for DR advertisers. Today, we offer the ability to drive website clicks and conversions, as well as mobile app install and engagement. Our ad units are bold, linear format designed to drive your advertiser's objective. And our ads appear in line in a large scale uh -oh. mobile format where people are attentive and engaged. Photo ads now support landscape images. Video now support landscape up to 30 seconds and including a link at the end and Carousel, which lets you show multiple images in one story. On Facebook, we've seen Carousel ads offer several performance advantages. 30 to 50% lower cost per conversion, 20 to 30% lower cost per click than single image photo ads. We're really excited by the initial momentum we're seeing on Instagram as well. On Instagram, both ad images and call to actions are clickable, making conversions as seamless as possible. Finally, for reporting, we offer the ability to measure website conversions with the Facebook Pixel, as well as mobile app installs and engagement with either the Facebook or mobile measurement partners, SDKs. As we've looked at the data since our launch, here are some key learnings from the first few months of performance marketing on Instagram. Partner results in case studies demonstrate competitive pricing for our CPC and CPAs. Running across Facebook and Instagram together improves ROI for website clicks and mobile app install. Doing so takes advantage of the additional mobile inventory and therefore efficiency that Instagram and Facebook offered when combined. And finally, although Instagram is a mobile only platform, Instagram users are 66 more likely to convert on desktop than mobile. This makes, getting, this makes setting up cross device reporting especially critical. To close, here's an overview of our recommendations for advertisers with direct response objectives. For campaign setup, if you're primarily interested in efficiency, run across Facebook and Instagram together. Add Instagram to your new and existing Facebook ad sets. Two, drive to a mobile optimized landing page. Instagram is a mobile only platform, so be sure your ads click through to an experience that supports mobile conversions. For targeting and bidding, if you're trying to develop a targeting strategy for Instagram, the easiest way is to start by applying your Facebook targeting strategy. In particular, add Instagram to your new and existing Facebook ad, set, ad sets to take advantage of the additional inventory. As with Facebook, bid for your business objective. We've added non, a number of new objectives for Instagram ads, like website conversions and mobile app engagement, so make sure your bidding strategy takes advantage of our latest solutions. In particular, if your client is looking for website conversions, make sure they switch from website clicks to website conversions so they're paying only for the result they care about. For creative, as I mentioned, leverage your existing creative assets is a great way to get started on Instagram. Custom creative is not a requirement, and we've seen clients find success using their creative from Facebook or other channels. 
Also, take advantage of the performance benefits of the carousel ad format. As I mentioned, we've seen great success with the adoption on Facebook, and we're excited by the initial learnings we're seeing on Instagram as well. For reporting, set up cross-device reporting with the Facebook Pixel or SDK. Since Instagram is mobile only, doing so will let you track conversions. And finally, if your partners use third-party platform tracking mechanisms, make sure their traffic is attributed to Instagram by adding a custom campaign parameter to their destination URLs. With that, I'm going to pass it over to Christina Ting to talk through our brand solutions. I am actually going to stop it right there <clears throat> so it's not too long. It's actually kind of a long one tonight. So um, tomorrow night, we will um, pick up with the branding. So I'll write that down. Tomorrow we'll pick up with the brand. All right. So pretty exciting. That was day 92. Tomorrow I'll be back for day 93 of the Vincent Ortega Jr. 100 Day Video Challenge. Exciting. All right. Have a great night and see you tomorrow.